Taiwanese child with hemophilia who was trapped in Hubei province has finally returned home to Taiwan. Late Monday night, the boy and his mother arrived at Taoyuan Airport on a plane from Chengdu. They had taken special safety precautions throughout the journey and were immediately rushed to a hospital for tests. So far, they have tested negative for coronavirus. Wearing protective clothing and masks, the boy and his mother finally arrived in Taoyuan on a flight from Chengdu, Sichuan province on Monday at 10.46 p.m. On landing, they were taken straight to a hospital for tests. Both received a negative result for coronavirus on their first round of testing. The second round will be revealed Wednesday. If that's also negative, they will go to a quarantine center for isolation. The Central Epidemic Command Center had earlier sent a nurse to Chengdu with protective gear to meet the mother and son. The nurse was able to take their temperatures and help them put on the necessary clothing before getting on the plane. They sat at the very back of the plane, with two rows of seats separating them from the 14 other passengers. The child was previously treated long-term in Taiwan, so his medical procedures are very clear. We know who his doctor is. So they were able to do examinations by video call and send a nurse over to look after him to give him advice on safety measures for the journey. On Monday, the government of Wuhan implemented a special measure that lasted for just four hours. They allowed non-locals to apply to leave the shutdown area if they had special reasons such as medical requirements. The Straits Exchange Foundation and local Taiwanese business associations immediately arranged for the mother and her son to travel the 800 kilometers to Chengdu to catch this plane to Taiwan. The coordination was handled by the Mainland Affairs Council, the Straits Exchange Foundation and local groups. As they had it all agreed, we got on with it as swiftly as possible. The family started making headlines just before Lunar New Year. The pair was in Wuhan to visit family members when COVID-19 struck. They were informed of the first evacuation flight to Taiwan too late to make it. With just one round of medicine left, the boy was considered the first priority for a second evacuation flight. But negotiations dragged on between Taiwan and China, with the plans unrealized. On February 9th, central government officials arranged for Mandarin Airlines to fly a shipment of medicine to the boy via local volunteers in Zhenzhou. Now, at last, the pair is home safe. That will give Taipei more leverage in negotiating with Beijing over further evacuations.